This is Adriana from Saskatoon Public Library, and I'm here bringing you an interpreted story time here on Treaty 6 territory, the traditional homeland of the Métis. And I'm bringing you this story time in partnership with Saskatchewan Deaf and Hard of Hearing Services. And we're going to start time. our story time today with the sign language song that we always do called Hello Friends, and it goes like this. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Today's story time is going to be all about moving. Maybe you've got the wiggles and you need to get them out. Can you wiggle around like Joe? Very good. So the first story I want to share with you is called How Do You Dance, which was written by Thyra Heder. And how do you dance? Can you show me? Very cool. One person says, I dance like this, or like this, or like this. And this kid says, hmm, I don't. other kid says, I do. And Rick dances too. Should we see Rick dance? Go Rick. Meg beckons. Koyo bops. Gilda flips. I think Gilda's painting and dancing. Can we try to do that? Aurora scrunches. CJ makes a face like something stamped. John looks right at you. Can you do a dancing pose? Just move one part, then another. Let it get weird and see where it goes. Well, here's one part and another. Let's let it get weird. Ooh, very cool. This is pretty weird. Let's try to do what this kid's doing. Ooh, tiring. Just move your face. Or move your fingers. Can you move? your knees or your toes. Maybe move like you have no bones. Oh, that's hard. Maybe move like you're made of metal. Eat, off, boot, flop. Maybe you shimmy because you made something delicious. Like so, so delicious. Can you do the good food shimmy? <laughs> hey, maybe you don't want to dance and you just want to eat dinner, okay? Okay, no dancing during dinner, but you could dance after dinner. Bang, 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 bang. Or at the market. At the bus stop. Or even on a break at work. You can dance on good days. Woo! Or on rainy days. Sad days, even. Can you do a sad dance? You could do the jiggle, or the swivel, or the flap, or the zappo, or the zip, or the mister, or the sneak, the windy, or the toodle, or the slip, or the scribble, or the middle, the 
sister. Hmm, that one's different. The poodle. Oh, the scoot. The nothing. Oh, how do you do the nothing? You just do nothing. Fine. You could do the poot. You can dance. High, how high can you dance? Or down low. You can dance really fast. Or really slow. You can dance like a dino. Or like Robo's. Beep, boop, boop. You can dance like a horsey. Or like a dad. How do you think dads dance? Think my dad might dance like this sometimes? Something I've seen. Cool moves, dad. And you can dance all together in the dark. Enough. I don't dance like that. I want to be left alone. Understood. But just between us, how do you dance? I just told you. I dance alone. See, they were dancing the whole time. They only just want to do it when they're all alone. And that's the end of How Do You Dance by Thyra Hedder. And now I'm going to do a moving rhyme with you, which is called Family Fingers. Can you do it? Your family fingers. There they are. Family fingers up and family fingers down. Family fingers dancing all around the town. I dance them on my shoulder. I dance them on my head. I dance them on my knees. Then I tuck them into bed. And can we get out the little baby pinkies? Baby pinkies up, baby pinkies down. Baby pinkies dancing all around the town. I dance them on my shoulders. I dance them on my head. I dance them on my knees. Then I tuck them into bed. Now let's do your Tommy thumbs. Tommy thumbs up, Tommy thumbs down. Tommy thumbs are dancing all around the town. I dance them on my shoulders. I dance them on my head. I dance them on my knees and I tuck them into bed. Next, let's do Peter pointers. Peter pointers up, Peter pointers down. Peter points dancing all around the town. I dance them on my shoulders. I dance them on my head. I dance them on my butt or my nose. No, where are we supposed to dance them? Knees. Then I tuck them into bed. The end. And now we're going to do a book called Hop Hop Jump, which was written and illustrated by Lauren Thompson. Move your body. Have some fun. Watch and we'll show you how it's done. Are you ready? Wiggle it and waggle it. Can you wiggle your fingers and waggle your toes? Whoa. You wing it, your elbows, and wave your hands. Can you upside down it? Ooh, that was hard. Can you stand on your head? I can't. A hop, hop, and a jump. Can you squint it? And can you grin it? Can you shrug it? Can you hug it? Can you zigzag your legs? Ooh. Can you give a clomp, clomp, and a stomp? Nice. Can you goose it and groove it with your hips? Can you reach it 
or roll it. Can you twist it? Imagine you've got a hula hoop, woo! And kick it, and flip, flap, flop. It's your turn now. Well, we'll end by taking a bow. Speaking of moving, sometimes in life you see traffic lights that give different moving directions. And when you see a green light, that means go. And when you see a red light, that means stop. So we're going to do a rhyme together called Go Says a Green Light. And it goes like this. Go says a green light. Move fast, 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 fast. And stop. Right there. And slow says the yellow light. In between. And go says the green light. Go, 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 go. And stop says the red. And we must all obey them. Even the queen. And that's all the stories and songs I have for you today. And with that, we're going to wave goodbye and say, Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye.